Aloha, everybody, and welcome to a box and a beer. Today, getting into some more Strixhaven pre-releases, and we got the Witherbloom Prismari, and that's what we're going to get into. Uh, but first, I kind of wanted to show you guys some things and some observe observations that I've made about the pre-release stuff. And let's get into that. Cheers, guys. So first thing I kind of have is these little posters, right? Super cool. Done a couple of them. But what I've noticed is, check this out. You actually have to like overlap them, right? So that they're part of this thing. So I'm hoping that these other two make something, but it's kind of weird that there's kind of like this space in here and that if you had five pre-releases, why wouldn't you make these five little posters make one overall picture and not like have to overlap them like this? I guess, I guess what you have is your little schools. So maybe it, it kind of plays a part and then you have little schools like like somewhere so i guess that could be cool but we're gonna check that out at the end of the video because i wanted to see that and then another thing that i kind of had a, a, a thought and opinion about was the fact that these colors are the same colors that we keep getting over and over and over again i mean like i know it's cool because it's black and you have all this stuff i don't know if this prismari or the witherbloom are any different but i'm pretty sure we've seen these colors over and over again so with all the money that we're spending and how many different products that you're getting i mean with only two products getting dice like the pre-releases and the bundle you would think that with the money that we're spending that they would get a little more creative with the products that we're purchasing so and not keep regurgitating everything back to us so that's just my thought and opinion on those two things we will get again get into the posters at the end of the video please um comment down below how you feel about those two specific subjects um on their own you know what i mean that'd be be cool to hear everybody's opinion back on that one um again comment down below and then if you like the content okay okay i like this definitely like a, gr a darker green black which is kind of cool I, I don't really remember this in too much but that's sweet so we'll go ahead and put that to the side let's check this one out now that we're talking about it oh that's cool so look at that as i open my mouth there's two cool new little dice with a couple little colors that i haven't seen so maybe they have been used on something and if they have please let me know down below again if i'm mistaken there we will again save those and then another one of the things that i have kind of a an irking for like you guys heard on the other video is the pre-release thing with the arena codes i mean so i'm not trying to bash a bunch of stuff and like all that i've only opened the pre-releases but that's just some of the observations that i've made with the whole product line you know when you're spending a bunch of money you kind of like hope that things are gonna be in a nice direction for you so we got those those here we go let's get into these packs and we will get into the set packs a little bit later thank you sorry about that didn't mean to hit that my bad thank you guys for being here i know it's like three minutes into the video and we're starting to get into packs right now so thanks for uh staying and enjoying the video i hope you guys are enjoying the content if you are please uh damp deal damage to that like button share and subscribe be super appreciated the illuminate history coming in for a rare we're going to have our uncommon i've noticed that they you can have a rare before your um three uncommons the conspiracy theorist uh that's only me <laughs> nice little harmonize coming in it's a pretty sweet card i like the art on all this new set it's pretty sweet everything's pretty awesome about the set as far as the cards go minus that one little faithless looting but as far as everything else pretty awesome set i enjoy everything coming on in the whole strixhaven set got the mercurial transformation dina soul steeper the necrotic fumes the callus blood mage look at that vampire Ugh. and here we go with the negate nice little uncommon negate and arena please go to it <laughs> i don't know how you guys feeling about the strict saving set and how you're playing as far as like arena i've been watching lance on uh Cawthorn cards he's pretty cool man pretty cool go check him out he does a lot of shorts and stuff but i've been watching a lot of his uh his actual gameplay which is pretty fun and pretty interesting i mean you can always see and learn and everything maelstrom muse the mage hunter the rip apart strix haven stadium nice and then the adventurous impulse and coming in with a foil 
little land here. So, well, not basic land, but you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys already know. So thank you guys again for being here. And it's much appreciated, everybody who's coming in. I, I am truly grateful for each and every one of you. It's uh, it's kind of something that we got to all learn in life, you know, because we always want to strive to be better and strive to have more and strive to be more perfect. And But as long as you're grateful for what you have, you enjoy the day that is given to you. Valentine, the Dean of Vane, we're going to go. Go ahead and do that. Lisette, Dean of the Roof, Root. I was doing that improperly before. The strategic planning. That's cool art. Cool art, little uncommon. So I did get only like one rare foil of this, and it was the negate. So it was a foil uncommon, um, but it wasn't a foil rare version. But I'm, I'm still assuming that it's probably going to be a little higher on that last video. That you, but you, you guys will see it. So check it out. Check it out. Quandrix Apprentice. The Ardent Dust Speaker. Symmetry Sage. And then the Draconic Intervention. Nice, nice. And then the Putrefied. Nice, rare. Destroy target artifact or creature. It can't be regenerated. Nice. Nice. Keep going and wanting to pick it up from over here. Maybe I'll switch that over next time. <laughs> you guys see that. So again, thank you guys for being here. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. I'm enjoying the Strixhaven. I'm really not doing any prices as it's uh, the first pre-release weekend. I'm just kind of want to enjoy the cards. I've been watching some people's stuff, but uh, I didn't do the spoiler season because I kind of want to. I just like to enjoy the cards. Reduce the memory. Culmination of studies. That's crazy. Look at that. And then the Divine Gambit. That's cool art. Yeah, like the Broken Step. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Man, these these uh, these cards are pretty awesome. I, I'm definitely enjoying the whole set. I'm definitely enjoying all the cards. You know what I mean? So it's very, very cool. I like the feel. I like the feel of the whole magic thing back in it. You know, the mages and school of wizardry and all of it. The Golden Ratio. Professor of Symbology. The Karak Wrangler. Nice little elf druid. Look at that thing he's riding. Like big old crocodile. Alligator. Show what you want to call it. Elite Spellbinder. And then the Whirlwind Denier. Coming in with another one of these foil lands. So that's cool. I would use that with the Witherbloom Campus. That's definitely one of those uh, lands that will be going up in my deck for sure. The only problem is that it comes in the battlefield tapped. Eureka Moment. Another Witherbloom Campus. Nice, nice, uh, <laughs> returned past color. And if anybody is on Oahu, again, go check out Other Realms. That is uh, off Nimitz Highway. That is where I actually got this from. Fervent Mastery. And then the Regrowth. I like the Regrowth. I love the art on that Regrowth. That is, is absolutely stunning to me. I love how peaceful it is. It's, it's really nice. It's really, really an awesome art. Good job. Who is that? Mintu Hininen? Hininen? Uh, if I'm saying that horribly wrong, I'm sorry. I apologize, man. If you happen to stumble across this, <laughs> you know what I mean? So thank you again, guys, for watching. It's very much appreciated. Here we go. The Prismari Pledge Mage. Let's get through this. I mean, I hope I can pull a Mythic. I don't think I've pulled a Mythic out of these two, well, out of these two right here. It's been all rares, not even a foil rare. Um, so, you know what I mean? It's it's cool. It's cool. The Flame Scroll Celebrant. A little double-sided rare, so we'll go ahead and do that. The Revel in Silence. Nice, nice, nice. What do we got? Claim the Firstborn. A little uncommon, so that's cool. Last pack, guys. Then we are going to get into the little set packs and then uh, do the pre-release cards at the very end. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for sticking around. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you have, please deal damage to that like button, share, and subscribe. Super appreciated each and every one of you. The Torrent Sculptor, again with another one of these flip rares. The Flame Thrower, Flame Thrower Sonata. And then here we go with the Divine Gambit. And then a Foil Uncommon Snake Skin Veil. Oh, I was really hoping for like a Foil Rare or something. That would have been pretty sweet, but still, awesome card. Still an awesome card. So here we go. Let's get into one of these packs. Here's the Witherbloom set from the Witherbloom pre-release. And then at the very end of everything, after the pre-release cards, um, I will see if that um, 
posters actually make like some sort of picture. I probably should have done it at the beginning, but it's all good. Tenured ink caster, necrotic fumes, the Karak Wrangler, the Damagoth Titan. Pretty cool. And then the dual sided tokens, which are always fun. And then those cards that you can write on. And then we have the Prismari Pledge Mage. So this is from that Prismari um, pre release kit. So again, Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Thank you, everybody, for always sharing the video. I mean, I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are all awesome. Thank you again. Here we go. Expressive iteration. The Prismari command. And then your double-sided tokens. So, oh. so here we go. Here we go, guys. So this is one of these from this. Oh, what is going on here? So you have... We're gonna we're gonna do this because real quick, real quick. How do you how does this one go? This one goes like up in here. Something like that, right? Something like that. Boom. This one's gonna be a something like that. Boom. This one's gonna be something like that. Hurry, you have her over here. And then you would have Oh, the other one. Where did it go? Oh man, I'm gonna have to. All right, so here's something for you guys. You're gonna have to go follow me on Instagram at Card Drummer J, and you guys will see that picture posted after this video. So you guys go post. Go the first person to go comment on that picture is gonna get this pre-release right here. Let's see which one it is. Quandrix Command. So first person to go comment on that Instagram, Quandrix Command go and get this oh it's got to be quandrix command on the poster so you will see that on my instagram at card drummer j go check it out guys so here we go last pre-release we got the crackle with power crackle with power deals five times x damage to each of up to x targets wow nice pre-release mythic man coming in hot wow holy crap that is that is pretty nuts that, uh, that seems like you can deal a lot of stuff. <laughs> so please let me know down below how you guys are liking the set. Strixhaven, again, deal damage that like button, share, and subscribe. And to see the poster, you're going to have to go to my Instagram at CardDrummerJ. So when you do that, go ahead, type the word Quandr Quandrix Command down in the bottom. First person to comment that is going to get this card sent out to them. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Aloha.